what are some disciplines that you recommend or that have worked in your dealings with Leptio to help people kind of stay committed to, right. to this practice? Well, the challenge, the challenge for all of us is the ordering of our lives mm -hmm. uh, so that there is a kind of rhythm uh, between work <clears throat> and rest, mm -hmm. between uh, activity, engagement, and w a retreat and solitude. This is the challenge all of us face. And mm -hmm. uh, we simply have to make a decision that uh, in order to love God and serve God effectively, that rhythm is important, which means it, it mean it's the ordering of my day. Right. It's the ordering of my week. Mm -hmm. It's the ordering of maybe a month's period, a year's period. So think of your life, not just in 24-hour periods, but think of it in the rhythm of day and night, Sabbath, weekly, mm -hmm. and even then over a period of a year to where uh, you have extended time of retreat and rest and, and listening, Lectio, using Lectio as well as other methods. But of Because this practice that I've described could be used for a 20-minute period, right. you can then put it out for an hour. Yes, sir. And so maybe if you practice this one, if you say 20 minutes a day mm -hmm. in, this, in this way, and then maybe once a week you take at least, maybe on, on, on your Sabbath, maybe a, a whole hour. Mm -hmm. And then maybe over, say, a month, maybe you take uh, a morning. Right. And, and I'm just suggesting this as a, as a possibility. You're going to have to determine your own rhythm. Right. But, but I, the ordering of your uh, life and which includes time, mm -hmm. requires intentionality. It requires decision. Right. Uh, it requires, uh, I use the word discipline, uh, some, some discipline. You're not going to do it perfectly. And, right. and when you miss your schedule, don't, be, don't beat yourself up. You just pick up and start over. Right. I was reading uh, in terms of Lectio, the Latin word, um, that posture is important or yes. needed? Yes. Does that really help? It does for me. Okay. I mean, it, uh, posture is very important for me. Right. And uh, I have to find a quiet place. Mm -hmm. I have to find this kind of a chair. It's really a pretty good example. It's a kind of a soft chair. It's not too soft. Right. But it's uh, it's it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. Got a good back on it. So I usually just sit in a chair, mm -hmm. put my hands quiet, and uh, open the scripture, read the scripture, put the scripture down, and then silently uh, sit. Um, people will do it different ways. Uh, right. Some people will move when they listen to Scripture. Uh, some people maybe like to stand. Some people like to hold their hands. Right. Uh, some people maybe want to walk around. But for me, uh, my, my preferred position is just a very comfortable chair, feet flat, head up, eyes closed. My problem is if, if I make my body too uncomfortable, I, I, I spend more time thinking about my body than I do about God. Right. <laughs> and so uh, yes. if I can, you know, this kind of a posture is sort of a usual posture I adopt. But it's, there's nothing, you know, required by that. You've got to find your own, own system. Yes, sir. Uh, we all have influences, uh, people that influence us to do certain things it's from a positive perspective. Is there a particular person or theologian that embodies Mm. Lectio mm. for you? <clears throat> I'm not sure somebody's in, in influenced me in Lectio. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't even remember now where I first read of this, this practice or, or how I, I came across it. I've been influenced, Matthew, by so many people mm -hmm. that have been my teachers and, and uh, mentors uh, in the life of formation. And my journey, like anybody else's, is that it's a journey, and different people influence you at different points in your life. Right. Uh, I've been uh, early on was very influenced by Richard Foster's work mm -hmm. and uh, his uh, teaching on uh, meditative prayer. He had a little book in which he, he talked about. He called contemplative prayer meditative prayer, mm -hmm. and he had a different rhythm, a uh, different method to to, to center. Uh, I've been influenced by the whole literature on centering prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, Thomas Keating and Basil Pennington's work has had a lot of influence on me. Centering prayer is different than the Lectio practice, but that that practice has had a great deal of influence uh, on my on my prayer practices. Um, 
I've been influenced by uh, Henry Nouwen's, uh, not so much, Henry Nouwen doesn't teach so much about prayer practices as much as he talks about uh, solitude and silence and listening to the voice of God communicate God's love. And, and, and his, his, his constant theme on that, that you are beloved, you are the beloved son, daughter, you're the beloved child, that's been influential in my journey. Um, other teachers, all the way from the early desert fathers and desert mothers to some medieval mystics, uh, uh, to some of the writings of Orthodox, the Jesus prayer, the practice of, of the Jesus prayer at one point was very important to me. Those aren't so much right. Lectio, but those are other influences. Right. The Lectio practice has been a little framework that's been helpful to me. It just, it's just very, I mean, it's 20 minutes, mm -hmm. 15 minutes, right. you know. And you don't have to go from uh, Lectio to, you don't have to do it in the order. You could jump right. from Lectio to Meditatio to Contemplatio back to Oratorio. I mean, you don't have to be in that, sp you don't want to get bound to that. But right. that framework has been a very helpful framework, very simple, and in some ways very um, practic practic uh, practical. You know. uh, last question. Um, with today's generation, it's not quite easy to pick up a Bible and read it, mm -hmm. where they may not have been introduced to reading it, or it may not be attractive for them to read it, uh, or maybe boring, whatever the reason is. Uh, I'm aware that you can use other texts, but would you recommend any text for this generation? Yeah, well, I mean, I think the practice of Lectio itself, the idea of listening to God, mm -hmm. applies to almost any kind of reading. but. Mm -hmm. I would, I would, I would, I would want to stay with Scripture at least to encourage you to stay with Scripture. Go to the Psalms, go to the Gospels, stay, uh, stay with the life of Jesus. Read, mm -hmm. read the Gospels with the life uh, in the life of, in ministry of, of the Lord. Uh, but if you're going to, obviously, you could do this practice with what I'd call the spiritual classics. I mean, read Thomas Aquinas, or The Imitation right. of Christ, or read the works of Nowen or Merton or you know, read poetry. I right. mean, you know, you could use this practice uh, with any uh, good reading. But I, I think that um, there's something about having a high confidence in Scripture. This, mm -hmm. this is the written text that was inspired by God to record the revelation of God in history that guides and governs our faith as Christians. So, I would, I would strongly encourage. Uh, to, to let this be the, be one of the ways that you read scripture.